Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you this smoky eye and I think it's one of my favorite looks I've done in a while. Um, I just love the color combination. I love the smokiness, but also the color on the lower lash line. So yeah, today I'm gonna show you how I did this. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is prime the eyelids, like always, using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre, uh, using this all over the eyelid to remove the redness and make my eyeshadow more long lasting. Then I went in with the Sigma Beauty um, Wicked Eye Liner. I just forgot the name for a few seconds. Um, but this is just a regular gel eyeliner and I'm just gonna smear this all over the eyelid because I wanted to do something smoky so I thought let me just start with the black as a base and I will see from there because I didn't really know what I was going for um, but I just decided to start with a black base then I knew it will get smoky anyways and while I was filming my niece was with me so I asked her like what sh shades shall I use? So I let her pick the ones on camera, but actually I ended up using different colors. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just didn't really like the colors that she picked, but next time I will ask her again. Hopefully she will come with a better combination. Don't tell her. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with the color Crimson from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, this is my second look using this palette from Anastasia. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, I will link it in the description bar. Um, that is actually more of a wearable, softer version. Uh, but I promised in that video that I will also wanted to do like a smoky eye. So this is today's look. And I also did another video using this palette, which is also a look that I really like how it turned out. So that one will be up on my YouTube channel very soon as well. Um, so yeah, I, I'm just gonna use this color to blend around the edges of the black eyeliner. Um, it looks still a little bit harsh because this is still like a dark color. So in order to make those edges more softer, I am going to need like a color which is a little bit lighter. So the transition from this to towards like that light color above this, my own skin color, um, will look softer because right now you can really see that it's, I don't know, it just needs a light color if that makes sense. So I'm just continuing to blend and I'm just really focusing on making it just look as good as possible without using a lighter color. And then I went in with the color leather and this is going to be like the color that I'm going to use to smudge out those edges even more. Uh, now what I normally would do is go in with a light color first, the one like this, and then I will do the black um, eyeliner all over the lids. And then I would use that previous color that I used um, for the transition. Um, but this way I just did it the other way around. I felt like I'm just gonna do that, do this like as the last step and that works as well. Um, it doesn't really matter to be honest. But normally I'm more of a fan to start with the lightest color. So yeah, I'm just focusing on the blending. I feel like this is one of the most important steps. If this looks good, then your look can't really go wrong anymore. So the blending with this process may take a little bit longer, but with the rest of the colors, for this one, for example, that I'm gonna use right now, you can just use your finger, smear it all over your eyelid. And this is not really precise work, if that makes sense. You really can go wrong with this. So as long as your base looks good, then your eye look will look good as well. So I'm just gonna use my finger and I just use this in the center because I feel like using your finger just gives most color payoff. Um, so once I have like set most product, I will go in with a brush to kind of smear out the edges and make it blend into the darker base underneath. But definitely use your finger as well because it just gives most color payoff instead of using a brush. So I'm just using a super tiny brush. I don't know what brush this is, but I think it's by Morphe and it's really tiny and cute. Um, so just dapping over the eyeshadow, making sure that the edges of this eyeshadow just look nicely blended into that dark base underneath. Then I went in with the Sigma Beauty Wicca Jaw Eyeliner again, that jaw eyeliner that I used at the beginning as a base for the smoky eye. And I'm gonna use this to create my wink liner. So I like to start with like a line above the lash line. And since I used the eyeshadow guards at the beginning, you can see it left me with a super sharp edge. So now I can just follow that line that left me and there is where I'm gonna make my wink liner. So that's super handy. If you don't have those eyeshadow guards, you can also use like a regular sticky tape that you have at home, or you can just skip it. Like it's not necessarily, but it does make it a bit easier. So I'm just gonna follow that line, like I said, kind of 
if you will follow the line like 30%, that's where I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna connect to make that wing liner. And I just really love this eyeliner from Sigma Beauty. I do sometimes use a little bit of the Inglot, I think it's called the Dura line. I put a few drops into the eyeliner, it makes it more creamy because you know, sometimes with eyeliner, after a while it gets a bit drier, but the Inglot Dura line uh, makes your eyeliner more creamy again, which is such a lifesaver. So now on top of that, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner. Just a beautiful combination. I've said this many times before, but using a gel eyeliner with a liquid liner on top of it just makes it look more black and more matte. I just really like it. So I'm just gonna coat everything where I just used the gel eyeliner. And then after this step, we're actually done with the eyelid. So we're gonna focus on the lower lash line instead. And I felt like, okay, since the eyelid is quite neutral, I'm gonna focus on a colorful lower lash line. Um, but first I used the Makeup Forever Aqua pencil um, in the color black, which is actually has become one of my favorite black pencils from the waterline. It's just super creamy, super black, and I feel like it's quite long lasting. So after that, I went in with the color Crimson, and I'm gonna use this for underneath the lower lash line using a flat brush. And I'm just gonna press this like right underneath the lower lash line, trying to connect it as close as possible um, towards the lower lash line so you can't really like see any skin peeking through anymore. So I'm really taking my time with this to make sure that you can't really see like any skin, like I said, um, because I really hate that, especially if you don't follow me on Instagram. I actually make super close up like pictures of my eyes. So whenever I do that, I can see like everything. I think that's why I'm such a perfectionist because I know it has to look good on camera as well. Of course, I can do some retouching, some editing and change some things, but I prefer that once I upload my images on my computer that it already looks as perfect as possible. So I think that's why I really focus on those little details to make sure that you can't really see skin and all of that. I mean, if you would look at this, I look from a distance when you see me on the streets or everything, you won't even notice a difference. But because I'm also focused on the photograph uh, side of it, um, th those are just the things that I look at. <laughs> so now I curl the lashes. I use the color for in the inner corner, which I really think makes this whole eye looks, look so much more dreamy. Um, then I used mascara. I think this is the Hypnose Drama from Lancome. Such a beautiful mascara. So I'm just putting a light coat on the upper lashes and then making sure I make my lower lashes as long as possible. I will be going in with fake lashes, uh, which are the TL6 Tati lashes. Uh, which are quite dramatic, but I feel like this eye look is also quite dramatic, so these lashes suit perfectly. So I'm just applying them in the center of the eyelid and then just pressing my fingers to make sure that they're really locked. Oh, there, these lashes are actually not that dramatic. I thought I used different ones. Oh well, okay, now they are quite dramatic. <laughs> but yeah, I really like how this eye look turned out. I love the color combination. I think it's perfect for fall time. Um, I hope you guys like how it turned out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It's really helpful for my YouTube channel. And I just wanna say thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you while you're going on